I'm here at Lead Belly's Link Strings Arcade where Candy Foster and the Shades of Blue Band are getting ready to perform for his 79th birthday celebration. Students of the College of Veterinary Medicine put on this open house every year to give members of the community an opportunity to interact with animals that they work with every day, like my feathered friend here, Layla. To many, this may just look like an empty stage, but for the performers of tonight's benefit concert, it's an important platform to spread a message of hope and inspire onlookers to donate to a cause that affects thousands. I am here outside of Snyder Residence Hall where the Dalla Carroll tradition started over 57 years ago. This year, Snyder Residence came together to put on the annual program that gets over 10,000 calls every year. Artists are given eight hours to create unique art pieces like the one behind me to be put on display. We're trying to line that, we're currently in the last game of the season against Northwestern. The score is 7 to 14 with Northwestern in the lead. Jake, that's a big boy! Big birds, slithering snakes, and four legged reptiles were a few of the animals event goers were able to learn about at the College of Veterinary Medicine's Open House Sunday. Among the participants was six year old Xander, who was most excited to see the avian exhibit, where he got the chance to hold a parrot. It, it was like having sharp claws and touching them with your nails on your body. With over 40 exhibits and demos, open house attendees had plenty to see and touch. Students of the College of Veterinary Medicine used this event as a type of community outreach to make people aware of the importance and the impact of veterinary medicine, while also encouraging an interest in animal care for kids like Xander. Students of the College of Veterinary Medicine put on this open house every year to give members of the community an opportunity to interact with animals that they work with every day, like my feathered friend here, Layla. Richard Hungerford, the president of Wings of Wonder Avian Rescue, says that he and his family business are involved with the open house every year to offer what he says is a vital education piece about exotic birds in particular. What we're doing here today is assisting U of I and working with them on bringing the exotic birds so that uh, other individuals can see the birds and get educated to the point of different types, the care of the birds, the medical attention they need, and uh, hopefully one of these days we'll adopt out some more birds. Xander says that when he grows up, he wants to be a biologist so he too can help animals. I love animals in nature. Plans for next year's open house are already in the works with the event date set for October 7th, 2018. In Urbana, UI7 News, I'm Natalie Stewart. Six and three is nine. Gerald, better known as Candy Foster, has been taking care of business for the last 50 plus years, making a name for himself performing the blues. Growing up around music, Foster says he got advice from the greats. It was William Evans from Akron, Ohio, better known as Count Demon. <laughs> he told me to, to be, he said, don't be a singer, be an entertainer. And I never forgot that. Mother and daughter Sandy and Candy Phillips say that Foster always keeps them laughing on the road. Um, he tells great James hey, Brown stories. Oh my God, I yes. got to tell you those. Um, no he's just a wonderful person. Everybody in Champaign Urbana loves Candy. Candy says that his stories and experiences are unmatched. Um, working with him, it's, it's fun to have the chemistry on the stage. Cause he'll start doing the dance, and then we'll start doing the dance with him, and the crowd is laughing. Tonight is about a celebration of Foster's life, and he says that it's all about entertainment and giving back. This is a community that I've really liked on to because they have opened their arms up and, and welcomed me all over this community, in Champaign County and all over. And all I do is try to give back, you know, because they been really good to me and it supported me throughout the years. In Champaign, UI7 Newsbreak, Natalie Stewart. Featured artist Hong Chung Zhang looks at a blank slate preparing to embark on an eight-hour journey of artistry. The event Eight to Create prompts artists to push their limits by creating a piece of work in a limited amount of time. For me, it's more like a challenging project because um, my work um, it's very time consuming, especially large piece. Usually take me uh, a month to finish. Pieces vary from watercolor paintings to sculptures. Artists came with some prepared materials, but the majority of the work was made on site. 
artists are given eight hours to create unique art pieces like the one behind me to be put on display. Coordinators of the event say that its purpose is to inspire and spark a newfound appreciation for art. We want them to appreciate, you know, the effort and the time that goes into creating something. For G for Mo, art is more than physical. Art is an enterprise that activates sort of all these different dimensions of the human experience. Um, and, you know, to me, art, art feels like a way of communicating um, that's unbeholden to, to language. It supersedes all these sort of divisions between people. Um, and it, it gives us opportunities to think and to feel and to relate to one another. For Zhang, art is a tool for change. Art can be a, a, a tool and a message uh, send it out to public, whether anything related to political issues and social problems. Art is the direct tool to express artists and the people in general their statement. In Urbana, Natalie Stewart, UI7 News Break. The Urbana Park District just wrapped up celebrating Take a Child Outside Week. Each day had different themes and activities to promote play outdoors. Everyone has a favorite holiday song and the volunteers of Dallas Carroll probably know them all. The residents of Snyder Hall are getting ready for their biggest holiday event of the year. It's time to get your car ready for winter. Now UI7's Anike Awoye has the scoop on winter auto preparations. Chicago community students who work hard at their city colleges may be soon gifted with an early acceptance letter to the University of Illinois campuses. In light of recent NFL protests of the National Anthem, head coach of the Illini football team, Levy Smith, shared his sentiments about the president's response in a press conference this Monday. Smith talked about how he would handle a situation like this should it arise on the Illini team. So normally a day like today would be an average high of 44 degrees, but today's high was at 66 degrees Fahrenheit. Uh, we're not breaking any records with this as the record high is at 74 degrees in 1905. So let's check out our local temperatures. Um, in the Champaign-Urbana area, we are at 55 degrees. Um, the highest in the region is about 58 degrees, almost breaking 60. And in Rantoul, we're at around 56 degrees Fahrenheit.